once again I give you our fighters in the blue corner, Louis Chapman. And in the red corner, Jake Tier. This tonight our big event presented to you by 10th Legion Fightwear, sponsored by Kenka.tv MMA, gloves made for champions. The fight sponsored by Combat Magazine. It's the semi-pro 10th Legion Championship welterweight British title. Three three-minute rounds, and your referee is Craig Lawrence. Our tail of the tape for this semi-pro welterweight British championship fight. Jake Tier out of the red corner. Jake Tier out of the red corner. 18 years of age, one knows his record. Trains out of Team Primal. Out of the blue corner, Louis Chapman. 22 years of age, but the nine inches tall. Two, one, and one is his record. Trains out of the fight ministry and is from whole England. Out of the blue corner, Louis Chapman wearing the green. Wearing Louis the Chapman being the aggressor to begin with. Although it's been slowed right down and both guys locking up Jake Tier. Louis Chapman trying to bully Jake Tear. And right now, trying to impose his will and some beautiful left hooks delivered by Louis Chapman. And again, my goodness, the power that Louis Chapman has is clearly being displayed here this evening. After this fight, assuming he gets a victory in a right hand, as in the clinch, is Jake Terr. Jake Terr is actually from Grimsby, England. Trains five to six days a week. Started with boxing, then stand-up, and now into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So he's gone from boxing to Muay Thai in a BJJ. But right now, it's all Louis Chapman. He's from hole. He has that look in his eyes and a beautiful takedown by Jake Terr. We get side control, Dan. Jake Terr, obviously, experience for such a young guy is pretty damn impressive. And although he's been taking quite a few shots to the face of Kersey and Louis Chapman, doesn't seem to be phasing him too much. And, a and another sweep. An outstanding sweep by Louis Chapman. Chapman remaining composed. Both athletes in fantastic physical shape this evening. The referee in charge is Craig Lawrence, an esteemed official for M1 Global. is official all over the world, and it's great that he's inside that cage with such a big fight on the way, especially with the British world title, or the British semi-pro title on the line. Well, when it comes to having fights of the caliber that we're about to see, we need to have someone of a high standard, such as the ref in question. However, back to the fight now. Chapman's got... pushing the pace right now, Dan, it seems like. Yeah. I mean, so. I mean, he seems to be in control. It looks like he's rushing it a little bit, but all the time he knows exactly what he's doing. Whereas Jake Tear, completely opposite side of the scale. He's completely calm and composed. Wondering to see what happened. I guess they, they showed some sportsmanship. I guess you cannot hit, or you cannot hit to the face with semi-professional. Right now, going for that Kimura. Or he looked he, like look, he was going for a submission was Jake Tear. Jake Tear actually trains Jiu-Jitsu under Dan Gimmon, who's a black belt. Going for a takedown is Tear, but Louis Chapman remains upright. And finally gets the takedown, ending up in the guard of Louis Chapman. Tear on top, as Tear trying to turn it around. Tear's trying to pass the guard, and he, I believe he does so. Nice job to use his hips, and that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background clearly coming into focus. Chapman appears to be working completely like a pit bull. He's just going for anything he possibly can for. In certain, certain times, it seems to be wasting a little bit of energy, but it's working top of his favor right there, as you can see. Back on top, dominant once again. Louis Chapman showed power and technique. That was all in one. That was a burst of speed, as you know, Dan, in the weight room. You get that burst of speed, and you could do a lot of different things, and Louis Chapman certainly did that, getting Jake Tier off of him and putting him on his back. Ten seconds to go, round one. It's good to see the contrast between the two of them. Whereas Louis Chapman seems to be going for anything and everything he possibly can go for, Jake Tier is obviously waiting for the right time of opportunity. Had Louis Chapman maybe had another 30 seconds, possibly would have gotten that arm bar attempt, but what a tremendous fight between two tremendous welterweight semi-pro, 77 kilograms, 170 pounds. You can tell that both guys are really leaving it out there because there is so much on the line. The British, the semi-professional welterweight British championship is on the line. Here we see our cage girl, Dan. Our beautiful Ashley giving some inspiration to both fighters. Hopefully it's going to get them a little bit more jarred up to put on a fantastic display, even more so than what they have done up to now. As if the welterweight semi-professional British championship isn't enough. Beautiful woman here at the Gem Tech Arena. Sold out crowd yet again. 10th Legion Championship fighting three. Decimation, a fantastic guy of mixed martial arts action. Right now, Dan, who would you give round one to? 
I'm going to have to say Louis Chaplin by the fact that he was dominant for 95% of it. However, it's interesting to see how both fighters diverse in different areas. You've got Jake T, who seems to be the calm one, a bit of a thinking man's fighter, whereas you have Louis Chaplin, who seems to go for anything and everything he can. It's working for him to now, so fair play to the guy. Chapman wearing the green trunks, wearing the brown with the white trim, Jake Terr. Chapman fights on instinct. I mean, he just, he seems so comfortable in there, whereas Terr, he's thinking, I mean, he's comfortable in there as well, but both guys want to stand in big. Terr, very focused, seems to be at ease. Chapman working his angles, and it was a combination that misses for Liu Chapman, and now he lands two successful overhand rights that send Jake Terr back a little bit, and a inside kick that lands for Jake Terry, Dan. It's interesting to see Chapman constantly bouncing around, obviously on his feet all the time, on his toes. He's just looking for the opportunity, thinking on his feet, whereas Jake Tear it looks like he's trying to plan ahead. He's looking for that route to get in and capitalize. This is a competitive matchup. You can tell that this is the reason why these guys are up and are contenders for the semi-professional British welterweight championship. A lot on the line and another right hand Jake Terra has not been able to find a way to avoid and evade that overhand right. Chapman's landing it. He throws up the jab a little bit, then the overhand right comes again. Some more power, and Terra may go to sleep. But again, Terra seems pretty confident on his feet still. I still feel it's 50 50 with regards to how things are going. Although it looks like Chapman is more active, what of all the things he's been doing up to now, not a lot of them have been connected. Whereas Tia, everything he's been doing may not be as much, but he's connected with it. Chapman trying to push Tear against the cage. And a nice uppercut. Two uppercuts that land in succession for Louis Chapman. And it's, it really appears as if Chapman is beating Tear to the punch. Tear is getting in some good shots nonetheless. But at the same time, it is Chapman that is more active and is connecting at a higher percentage. Had to agree with you on that, Ray. But Jake Tears is looking for that right season of opportunity. And I reckon he's going to be sitting out in the back and go hell for leather. Those kicks seem to be connecting 24 7. He's got some great connection with those kicks. But Chapman's is taking them on board and delivering them twice as hard back. Jake Tear is pushing the pace, or pushing it right now. He's more the aggressor, but Louis Chapman is doing a fantastic job of counter-punching. You don't really see that much in mixed martial arts, but Louis Chapman is doing a nice job of counter-punching. But Tear knows he has got to raise his activity in the eyes of the judges and connect more in order to get this round in his favor. Both guys evidently have definitely been spending a lot of training, working, preparing for this fight. Aerobic capacity is through the roof, and they still look fresh as when they started. These guys are in fantastic physical shape, only separated by four years, 22 years of age. Louis Chapman, 18 years of age, is Jake Terre. Both of them with solid records. 1-0 oh is Jake Terre. 2-1-1 one one is Chapman, and another overhand right. It Terra is blocking a little bit of that power, that overhand right, but even though that he blocks it even a little bit, it still kind of shakes Jake Terra. 10 seconds to go in the second round, scheduled for three, and they exchange in close quarters. Coming again, uppercuts, and they pick it up, an uppercut that lands 